Virginia's Open Data Cube, harnessing the power of satellite data to address Virginia's greatest challenges. Why a Virginia Data Cube? It's for informed decision making. If we manage all of Virginia satellite data in one place, we will be better able to understand how we use our land and how our land is changing. The timing is right. This data is now free and open and available in the cloud, but we need to make it easier for the users to access and generate products. This will also bring together a community of users. It will be easier for people to enter and be part of this. It'll be open to government, education, and industry, and it will help solve Virginia's most challenging problems. So what is a data cube? If we bring together satellite data that's taken every week or two weeks, and we pull out that information and stack it into a cube, which has dimensions of latitude, longitude, and time, it will be easier for us to analyze. These cubes are made up of the smallest dimension called a pixel. That is approximately the scale of 30 meters or the size of a baseball diamond. Once in a cube, this information is easier to analyze and produce information for decision making. So how will we build the Virginia Data Cube? We'll utilize the Open Data Cube infrastructure. This is a proven technology that started in Australia and is now being taken around the world by NASA and the Committee on Earth Observation Satellites. It uses open source software solutions. There is no cost and it enhances sharing among users. It utilizes cloud computing technology for rapid performance. We can bring together satellite data and non-satellite data together to better tackle Virginia's problems. And we can utilize partnerships from all kinds of groups, government, academia, and industry. Here's an example of water extent in Kenya. This particular lake has had droughts and poor water quality, and this is a plot of 17 years of historic water extent. This is a demonstration of the Virginia Data Cube over Pocosin, Virginia for a five-year period from 2014 to 2019, showing the water quality or sediment levels in the Pocosin River. Areas of red are higher sediment levels. Areas of blue or green are better water quality, lower sediment levels. This is land change in Radford, Virginia for the same time period. We can use the data cube to look at pressure on land use and natural resources. We can show areas where vegetation has been lost in red or various areas where vegetation has increased in green. Agriculture can also be tracked at the smallest scale. We can look at phenology or growth patterns of things like corn crops if we were changing seed or changing fertilizer habits, there may be changes in biomass or changes in harvest time that can be measured in the time series with the data cube. If you want info more, more information about the Virginia Data Cube, please visit data4va.org. You can also check out the Virginia Open Data Cube demo. And if you need more information about the infrastructure, the opendatacube.org website.